hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you some amazing hacks on how to quickly harvest process and preserve the vegetable known as water leaf so guys the vegetable you see behind me growing in cinder blocks is what we know locally as water leaf the scientific name for it is talinum triangulare i've been growing water leaf in my garden for so many years over 20 years water leaf loves warm weather so as you guys would know my garden is in zone 9a in houston texas and houston is closer to the equator so we do have warm weather very warm summers and water leaves just thrives in the summer if nothing else would grow in my garden my water leaves basically take over the place in fact I have been getting rid of some of the water leaves because I just cannot keep up with the harvest. But we need to harvest now and uh, process and preserve in the freezer so that when it's winter and nothing is growing here, we still have um, vegetables to use. All right, guys, so what I've also been doing is every time I come to the garden, because I'm not trying to save these to collect the seeds, I just go ahead and do this, like remove these heads because I'm not gonna be needing this when I process the water leaves. So I just do this when I'm not harvesting. You know, when I'm back here watering the garden, I pick out the flower heads and just throw them away in the garden. That way I don't have double work when it comes to uh, processing. To harvest our water leaves, we are gonna let the water leaves grow and start to produce those flower heads that's when you really get thick mature stems you know but you can harvest it sooner if you want but i like to let mine at least start to form that flower head like so okay and then we're gonna harvest by just cutting down below just cut at the bottom like so and the more you harvest the more it will produce stems and leaves for you so i've been harvesting these basically all summer long you know when i harvest in about a week i need to be back here and harvest again so it's super super productive you harvest just take the time to pick the flower heads like so that way you don't have to spend time doing so again once you go inside so in a few weeks these are gonna be new stems for me to harvest you can see starting to get side shoots it will grow into stems just like these ones in a few weeks maybe in the next two or three weeks don't want to sleep in because i got something to prove i gotta take what i hate and finally make a move i think of you and all the shit you don't do well i'm amazing here's what we have guys another basket full of water leaves. I'm going to take it inside now and show you how I process and preserve the water leaves. So come along with me, let's go inside. All right guys, so the next step will be to process our water leaves. And for that, this is how I assemble my workstation so that the process can go fast. Basically, we need to wash the water leaves. So I'm going to use a big container like this to wash the water leaves inside. Next, I'm going to need some kind of a chopping board, and then you need some kind of a colander, some kind of a strainer, and a container to put your water leaves in. And then you're also going to need freezer safe bags. You can use Ziploc bags or any other freezer safe bags. So now I'm going to fill up this container with cold water. Okay, so we have our water in here. I'm just going to grab the water leaves i'm going to try to keep it like oriented like so as much as possible just wash it shake it and the reason why i want to maintain this orientation is because this is exactly how i'm going to slice it to reduce the number of steps because I took the time in the garden already to remove the flower heads. I tried as much as I could to remove these flower heads. 
I don't have that much work to do. But if your water leaf has a lot of flower heads, you need to remove those flower heads. You can go ahead and just slice it right away, or you can let it drain in that colander. Okay. So grab another batch. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad. Let me show you how I process the water leaves pretty quickly. So the, the tip or the secret is once you're harvesting the water leaves, make sure you remove the flowers as much as you can. Or every time you go to the garden, make sure you're cutting up those flower heads and throwing them away. That way, when it's time to do this, you don't have to remove them again one after the other. But as you can see, even though I did that in the garden, there's still some that you're going to miss. So make sure you check. Okay. And then the other tip is that I did not disrupt the alignment of the water leaves. You see, it's all oriented like this with all the stems facing one way and the top facing the other way. Makes it easy to cut. Okay. And when I harvested, I tried to just get the tender stems as much as I could. But if you still find that this is too much stems for you, you can just bunch up everything like so. And then in one fell swoop, trim up the top like this. You don't have to, you know, you can still cut those up into little pieces. But if you do mine, you can do that. And this is now ready to chop or slice. So using a sharp knife, just run that. Because watch your fingers. We've been doing this for a while in the kitchen, but you know, every time you're using a knife, there's a chance that you can cut your fingers. So just be careful. And that's it. Okay, so it goes fast, faster this way. The traditional way would be to do this, to and then do this one after the other. You can imagine how time consuming this will be when you have to do this one after the other and then pick the, the flower head and do this and then pick the flower head. It can take forever. So the way that I showed you, which is that you bunch up the stems like so. So you just get enough that can fit in the circumference of your hands, your thumb and your middle finger somewhere that can fit. This is enough. And if you choose to, you can, Remove the tops like this, and then just go ahead and cut this up. Yeah, that's the secret to processing a huge quantity of water leaves quickly. And as busy people out here in the diaspora, we need all of these tips, all of these hacks. I'm done with the first batch. I'm going to wash more and continue that process. The next step will be to preserve our water leaves. And I'm going to be using freezer safe bags, Ziploc bags, the ones that can go in the freezer, or you can use any other bag that is freezer safe. And you want to make sure that you put a label on it because once it's frozen together with other veggies in the freezer it will be difficult to tell what it is that is in the bag so do not forget to label use a waterproof permanent marker i'm using a sharpie here so just write what it is label with what it is and then the date so i'm just gonna put the month and the year i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you've never and then you put it in the freezer and you're done, you know. All right. And now I'm going to try to get the air out as much as I can. Get the air out. Seal it all the way. So that's one bag. We'll do another one. All the water leaves you saw only gave me two bags. 
so two bags of water leaves ready for the freezer so yeah guys that's how i harvest process and preserve my water leaves and this is going to last me a long time it can last up to a year and it's going to remain green like this ready for the pot super convenient i hope you give my method a try it's going to save you a lot of time processing the water leaves thank you so much for watching and until next time bye everyone